Hey everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you this look. This is my go-to summer makeup. For me, it's about just a bronzy, flirty, summery look. I also think that like glow on glow on glow is beautiful sometimes, but in the summer, I don't think it wears really well. So this is my version of a beautifully glowy, seamless, makeup look that gives beautiful shape and color but isn't kind of overboard. I mean, maybe for some people it would be. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and if you do, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that I know it really does help me out. And I would love to have you back so make sure to subscribe as well. And with all of that, let's do this. Okay, before we jump into the skin tint that I'm going to be using, I wanted to mention the sunscreen that I already have on. So this one from Kiss Me Mommy is seriously like top three, maybe even top two sunscreen. It really checks every single box for me. First of all, it's SPF 50, which I think is great. I try to look for something between 30 and SPF 50. I have it on my skin right now. It gives a touch of a glow, but right now on my skin, it doesn't feel heavy at all. There's no greasiness. It really loves to sink into the skin. This is a chemical sunscreen, but there's no irritation. I can put it like all the way up near my eyes, no burning, no stinging. This is alcohol free, which I do really like just because I have more dry skin. It's just such an incredible product. The reason I don't talk about it more is that it's so freaking difficult to find. It is in stock right now on Yes Style. When I was pulling products for this video, I couldn't even believe that this was in stock. So right after I'm done, I'm going to go place an order. But yeah, this sunscreen is bomb. And I do have like a best and worst um, sunscreen video coming very soon. But anyway, skin tin. This one from Glowish is so, so beautiful. And I've just been really, really enjoying it. I was a bit bummed when I bought this at first because this is not my normal shade. But you can see I'm self-tanned right now. And this shade, when I'm self-tanned, is really flattering. I don't know what it is, but this shade for me, I just find to look really, really nice and natural while also, you know, matching my self tan. And by the way, I've been using a couple of different self tanners. The one I have right now on is from Jurgens, but it's kind of mixed a little bit with the one from Tanologist. That's like a tanning water. If there was one self tanner that I could recommend, it would be the dark tanologist self tanner. So what I'm doing right now is I am applying my skin tint with a dry sponge. And why do I use a dry sponge? I do get questions about this on my channel. The reason I like to do this, you know, whether it's the summer or the winter or whatever, it just adds less moisture to the skin. And if you want your makeup to last longer, I find that this is a good trick to use. You're not adding any extra water that could potentially break down your product. Because my face is my actual skin tone right now, this helps to get a little bit more coverage. And I do want a little bit more coverage because, you know, we're trying to color match right now. This skin tint is an incredibly glowy product, but I, I gotta tell you, I really, really love it. I think for summer, when you pair this with the right products, it just, it makes your skin look so, so glowy. In this makeup look, we're really going to be able to control the glow that we have going on. I know it doesn't look like it right now. And this skin tint is really our main source of glow in this entire look. So the fact that it looks really glowy right now is actually a good thing. It means that we'll actually be able to see the glow by the end of the look. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer now. You can see that this is quite bright, but that's okay because this is just going to add some lightness to the middle of the face. It really doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it looks so skin-like and pretty. I've been less self-conscious of my dark circles recently. And dark circles really aren't the end of the world. And I've just been feeling more confident to kind of not feel like I have to cover them up so completely. Already, because we've added a little bit of some lightness to the middle of the face, we're already building some shape. And what I'm going to do is actually use a cream bronzer first as kind of the first step of 
bronzing. This one is from Say. It is the Sun Melt in light bronze. And I am just going to use the same sponge. A dry sponge is an excellent way of applying cream products. You can see that this bronzer is actually very, very natural because it's the light bronzer. I could definitely go with a darker bronzer if I wanted to, but this actually is going to make everything look even more seamless in my opinion. You can see how we're building that shape, but you don't need to get to the really bronze sculpted look right away. Sometimes when you're more patient, and you use these thinner layers and you really build up, that's when everything all of a sudden really comes together. So that first layer of bronzer is on. What's really important about kind of tuning in the glow to get it exactly where you want it is using like a pinpoint powdering method. You could certainly powder all over your face and then add back in glow, but I find that this just looks so seamless. So I'm using the Kosas Cloud Set and this is the shade Airy. So it is like more of a light shade. I am just going to use this in the middle of my face. And again, we're just taking down that glow. And you see the difference already. It doesn't look flat, but the middle of our face, the actual makeup is going to last longer. I tend to find this is the area where my makeup wears off. But not only that, we've kind of taken down the shine a bit and it's just making the skin look more refined. So there you go. You can see there's still lots of glow, but the middle of our face just looks more creamy rather than super glowy. Now, I feel like we need to set the perimeters of the face as well. And what better way to do that than with more bronzer? This is going to help our bronzed look really last a long time. And this is the extra step that I will take when I really want my makeup look to hold up longer. This is the one from Makeup by Mario. It's the Soft Sculpt Bronzer in Light. And I'm just going to go right over where we put that bronzer. And what's really important when picking products is I like to go for as finely a milled powder bronzer as possible. I think you can go with a creamier bronzer, but for me, the powder bronzer, it really just has to blend seamlessly over cream that's not set. Like it just has to be a really thin, beautiful, easy to work with formula. And I've just been so happy with this one. And again, this is the shade light. You see how we're not even using the darkest of the dark bronzer shade, but we're adding shape and we're adding contrast and working in these thinner layers I think gives a more believable looking bronzed effect. I like to kind of take a little bit over the um, bridge of the nose as well. I actually kind of surprised myself when I was pulling products. This is really the blush I've been reaching for so often because it's just so easy and I love the pop that it gives my skin. It's not a cream. I'm, I don't know, I'm surprising myself every day, but this is the one from Makeup by Mario. It's the Soft Pop Powder Blush in Creamy Peach. And I talked about this in my 10 favorites in 10 minutes video. You guys, this blush just really adds that soft pop, blendable and easy to work with. It's very thin, but it gives you such a beautiful glow and creaminess to your skin without it being a cream. Again, I'm taking it all over here. I like to take it across the nose, I love that it gives a little bit of that flushed kind of sunburnt look. And then I also like to take it up under the eyes. I think that that is a really pretty way to give you a more realistic kind of burnt, sunburnt, suntanned look. The things we do to fake a glow, I gotta tell you. I'm also going to quickly set the brows. I did already fill them in. So I'm using my air brow from Kosas and just going to take a little bit of a gel through them and like that's the base done Honestly, I could go out just like this and I'm like I'm happy because I think that that's really what this look is about It really is about this 
creamy bronzed sculpted look that is going to last longer all right so for the eyes i'm going to first use a shadow that i can't like i seriously can't stop talking about i hope you guys don't mind but it is this one from super goop it is the spf 30 shimmer shade in the shade sunset oh my gosh i, I really just can't get enough of this so it didn't feel right to use another product but I'm taking it on my finger and what I've been doing is just applying it to the outer corners of my eyes and you can see like even when you move your eyes this shade is super dimensional it has like a golden shift to it but it's more um smoky and chocolatey too and it's really been like the eye product eyeshadow that I'm reaching for all of the time. And I'm just going to take this Real Techniques brush and blend it out. So I'm really just building more of a smoky, kind of chocolatey um, effect out here on the outer corner, but I'm leaving the inner portion of my eye bare and I'm going to use a more light shadow there. This is really kind of like my go-to kind of look. I think it's really flattering. On the inner portion of my eyes, I'm going to be using an old favorite, a standby. It is Urban Decay Space Cowboy. I picked up the new one because I wanted to report to you all if this was the original Space Cowboy formula. I was honestly interested myself and it is. So really pumped about that. If you're not familiar with this, product though it's a very very thin powder more of a shimmering powder eyeshadow formula but it looks like gloss on the lids it's pretty it's pretty incredible it has a base to it that looks glossy the shimmer of it looks glossy it's such an incredible eyeshadow and it just gives your eyes this incredible like glossiness. That's the only way I can describe it. I just adore it. And it's such a nice finishing touch also for any makeup look. If you just want to add a little bit of that glow, and just to add a little bit of definition to the outer corners, I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And really, I'm not gonna use a lot. Little, little touch out here. I'll just kind of draw it on like I would a liner and just blend it out. You see, it just adds a touch of definition. And now for mascara. <sighs> I love this mascara so much. I mean, I'm only using products that I've really tested for a long time and I just absolutely adore, but this mascara is easily becoming a holy grail for me. It's from Ulta. It's the Twisted Volume Mascara. I've talked about this before, but this mascara is incredible because it has a bunch of different settings. So you can see up at the top, you can get varying levels of volume. And what happens when you click to the other levels is that the wand actually twists, hence the name Twisted Volume, and it gives you more volume as the brush twists. So basically what you get is four different kinds of mascara looks in one mascara. And not only that, but I find that if I add too much volume, I can go in and go back down to the lower setting and kind of comb everything out. Or if I want to add just a little bit more volume in some areas, I can twist up the wand and kind of build on a look that I already have going. Mascara is the first thing to expire. So the fact that you can open one mascara and get so many different looks, I just find to be really special. The number one setting is great for more of a natural look, but I think I'm going to go for setting three. This will give us a lot of volume, but it's still going to be a little bit more natural. Like, I feel like this look is smoky, but just a little bit restrained, if that makes sense. So this is going to match that really well, I think. Also, if you are someone that really loves volume, but you hate clumps, look at that volume and no clumps. And I already know that I'm going to be repurchasing. And the mascara is on. There are the eyes. Again, I love in the summertime a more flirty kind of smoky but restrained look. And I just like a more glossy effect on my eyelids. I think it adds just such a nice kind of freshness. Um, I actually love the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coats for the same or a similar effect. Okay, so we are almost done. I, again, I'm just going to use a little bit of my Pillow Talk liner. This is uh, 
staple product for sure, just to give a little bit of shape. And since I've bought this in the spring, I can't put it down. It's the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the shade Pillow Talk. If you like a liquid lip balm, but you want one in a stick form, this is what that formula is for me. So smooth on the lips, it feels so comfortable. And I also like that it's not quite as much shine as a lip gloss. It's just a little bit more toned down, which sometimes I really like. Okay guys, and this is the completed summer kind of go-to look that I have been wearing. But I feel like the eyes and the skin really match in a sense that we're building shape, but we also are retaining that glossiness and that glow. So if you guys enjoyed it, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I have some really exciting videos that I've been working on for a long time coming very soon. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next one.